Now, the world's fully first working sand battery has been installed in Finland. It is a device which can store sustainably produced heat for months at a time and could be used to keep homes warm in winter. It works by charging 100 tonnes of sand with heat generated by solar or wind-powered electricity. Our environment correspondent, Matt McGrath, has more details. I'm here in the municipal swimming pool in Kankampa in western Finland. It's a beautiful pool, very balmy all year round. But the heat that's in here comes from a rather surprising source, from sand. The sand in question sits inside this silo in a power plant on the edge of this small Finnish town. It's the first commercial installation of a potentially important technology that works in a surprisingly simple way. We are heating the uh, sand battery with uh, clean electricity and then storing the heat there and taking up the, for usage uh, later on. Transfer that to time that it's uh, more useful. Electricity from wind or solar power is converted into heat, which warms the sand up to around 500 degrees Celsius. Crucially, the sand can keep this heat without loss, potentially for months. Here in Kankanpa, the heat in the sand battery is then used to help power the district heating system. Keeping homes, offices and indeed swimming pools warm all year round. Heat is the biggest end use for energy all over the world. It's also critically important for survival in a country like Finland, where the winter is long, cold and dark. And the recent move by Russia to cut off supplies of gas and electricity in response to Finland joining NATO has caused concern. So ideas like the sand storage battery, which began life at this former pulp mill in the city of Tampere, have been backed enthusiastically by local government. The power demand is so high. It can be really expensive to provide that power in the middle of the winter. Uh, if we have some stations that are just there for a few weeks, few hours in the winter time when it's the coldest, it's going to be extremely expensive. If we have this sort of solutions that provide flexibility for the storage of, of heat, that would help a lot in there. As the world has shifted to green energy, there's been a huge focus in recent years on developing ways of storing that power for the days when the sun doesn't show and the wind doesn't blow. Much attention has been paid to lithium batteries, but according to those who have invested in the new Finnish system, sand has many advantages. What made you think that this might actually work? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a left field idea. It's a bit strange, but it's, it's cheap, it's easy to get, and, uh, and you can get to really high temperatures, maybe 500 degrees, uh, while in, with water you can only get to 100. So you get a lot of heat stored in a, in a small, small space. The Finns now plan to massively expand their sand system, making it a thousand times bigger. The researchers hope the world can quickly benefit. They say the sands of time have run out for fossil fuels, and it's now time for sand. Yeah, it's uh, cheap and uh, easy to build. And we really uh, uh, like to license this uh, technology and give it to, for a good use uh, as widely as possible. This idea still faces big challenges. Can it store electricity as well as heat? If that can be done economically, sand could well be a simple solution to a global problem. Matt McGrath, BBC News, Finland.